Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Bespoke Post series. Got of course another package in today. As you can see, it is a smaller one. And uh, well, kind of gives it away by saying pocket kit. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up and we can check out what's inside. All right, well, here we go. We've got uh, a few products here. And uh, of course, we'll start off with a little card right there. And as you can see, the nice little picture that includes the stuff. And on the back, it says, what is in your pocket box? And then it just lists off the three different items here. Uh, now, first thing we'll do, we'll just grab this first one. It's pretty easy. Uh, this is a piece of leather, as you can see. But what this is, is uh, it's considered a very simple wallet. Uh, good for uh, using for your EDC kit, which is basically what this is. Uh, you've got a kind of a thick, larger upper pocket here, and then you actually have another piece that wraps around here, and there is some stitching there, so it kind of separates off. So you've got these kind of two pockets here, and then a much wider one there. Uh, it does have, there is a little bit of a buffalo imprint on the bottom there, and this is by Ezra Arthur. Let's go ahead with the pocket knife next. Now this is Bare Edge and this is by Bear and Sons. Now the knife itself, as you can see, it is, it is small and it is very, very thin. Uh, definitely made to be able to fit inside the wallet here. It does of course have the little uh, pocket belt money clip type thing on the side. It does have a little grab spot right here to open it up. Uh, so we can open it. As you can see there, it is roughly, I think, and that's about a two, two and a quarter inch blade. Nice little straight edge there. Let's uh, see how well it cuts. Oh, wow. That cuts really nice. Really, really nice. Simple uh, black finish to it. It's not gloss, but it's not matte. It's just kind of, kind of a semi-gloss, I guess you'd put it. Has a little bit of texturing on the back here and then up on the front there. Uh, and then again, you also have that opening at the front. This is uh, considered a drop point. Um, if it sloped down just a little bit more, it's almost be a spear point. Now this does not have the integral lock system. It is not wide enough for that. So they do use this uh, lock back system. So you do press back here and then it will release. So there is that little hook at the back that this is based off of and that's how it keeps it straight. So just keep that into consideration. This is by Wubin and uh, it is a well as it says a 100 lumen edc uh, flashlight uh, you can see right there it is very small this is the e01 series now it says that it is 100 lumens it has an intelligent circuit it is ip68 waterproof uh, so I'm not sure what the IP68 is. I'm sure that's a regulation of some type, but I'm not sure. If you know that, go ahead and leave a message down there in the uh, comments below and let us know what that stands for, if you guys know. Uh, and then it says it has a 50 hour runtime, and that is on a single AAA battery. Okay, so as we open it up, first off, we got a nice little booklet here. Um, it has the user manual, shows you, of course, putting it together. It gives you the breakdown of all of uh, its capabilities because it does have different functions um, and it gives you some warranty information. A nice little uh, hook here like a carabiner loop right there. Uh, so that's pretty nice. It does come with a couple of o-rings there so of course that goes into the um, the whole waterproof system there. The unit itself is uh, as you can see it is black it does have some knurling on a couple of sections here. It does have a simple little uh, belt or money clip right there. A simple black push button on the back. Uh, it does have a little warning here on the side, and that's talking about making sure you take the insulation out of it. The insulator that they're talking about is just this little plastic piece right here, and that just sits on the back of the battery. It does come with a Duracell battery. Now it does have uh, one of the rings already here uh, before we close that up. It does have a ring right there. Uh, that of course again is going to be what helps to seal it and keep it watertight. Try it out. That is on one setting one. There's setting two so you had low and high and that high is way brighter. Uh, then we've got oh setting three that oh low medium and high I guess and we're back to low. 
So let's see, yeah, it has a low, medium, and high. Uh, the high will last for about 50 minutes on high. Uh, on medium, it will last for about six and a half hours. And on uh, the low, um, which was that very dim light, it will last for 50 hours, it says. So uh, that's, uh, that's not bad at all. And uh, it does say that it will shine up to about 40 meters. I'm sure that is for the high beam there. Now, the one nice thing about this is I don't have to actually click it like this, which I'm sure you can probably hear. To get to each one, you can do just a simple tap and not, not have to press it all the way down and turn it all the way off to change the, uh, the overall ability of it. So to do the SOS, we sit here and we can have it on whatever one, and then it says to do a double tap on it. So we boom, boom, oop, and turned it off. There we go. And we've got the SOS flashing signal there. And it looks like the SOS is set for about the medium, but uh, there we go. That, I think, will do it for me today, guys. My name's Cougar. This is The World of Me, another episode from the Bespoke Post series. Uh, if you guys want to check this out, go down there in the description below. There will be a link to the Bespoke Post site for this box and all their other products, their other boxes, individual products, etc. And uh, while you're down there, don't forget to check out that social media, as well as I have that PayPal link down there that takes place of Patreon if you'd like to help out the channel. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way down or on your way back up, as well as hitting that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and ring that little bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.